All right, in, on this next problem, um, we are going to pretend that you have a combination lock that has three numbers. Okay, we'll, we'll say we'll say the combination lock has three numbers. I want to know uh, what is the probability that your uh, combination lock is how about one, four, seven. And these are the only choices you can have, and it's a three-digit combination. One, and then four, and then seven. So let's try this out here. Um, and again, we're not, um, you could use one more than one time. Um, it could be one, one, one. So it's kind of essentially like the first one we did last time where um, I, I used the one, but I'm putting it back in for the next time. So it could have been one there, and it could have been one there. So let's try this out here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got ten choices here. So I've got a one in ten shot of getting that. Uh, I've got a one in ten shot of getting that, and a one in ten shot of getting that. So my top number is one. My bottom number is ten times ten is a hundred. One out of a thousand. One out of a hundred is going to be um, one percent, but one out of a thousand. If I did this on the calculator, one divided by a thousand, I'm going to get this, which is actually basically zero percent. But it wouldn't actually be zero percent because that could be a choice. So it's actually going to be one tenth of a percent. Okay. Now here's the difference. If I say, what is the probability of getting a one, a four, and a seven? and I say that none of the numbers can be used more than once okay none of the numbers can be used more than once so that's almost like saying we use the one and we can't put it back in our other choices so let's see how this would look and how this would be a little bit different uh, okay so let's start with the one here I've got a one in ten chance of getting a one but now I am I use the one I can't use it again in this next situation so I'm gonna take it out of here so now for my four. Uh, now I only have one four still, but I only have nine choices left. And I can't use the four again, so I'm going to take the four out. And I got a seven, which is still one seven, but now I only have eight numbers. So now I just have to do the math for this. One times one times one is one. Uh, let's see, ten times nine is going to be uh, ninety. 90 times 8, well 9 times 8 is 72, so 90 times 8 is going to be um, 720. So if you look at this, my chances are quite a bit better. 1 out of 1,000 is a lot worse of a chance than 1 out of 720. Uh, so my chances would be a lot better of guessing your combination if you couldn't have the same number twice as opposed to if you possibly could have the same number twice. All right. These are the ones that I'm going to ask you to try on your own here. And there's two different situations. Just one question for this situation and four different questions for this one. Uh, this question just involves coins and then the six represents the six on a dice. This question represents the Skittles or M&Ms or whatever you want to use here. And I've got three blue and three red. I'm hoping as you've kind of watched this video it's kind of helpful to draw out the pictures I think anyway especially when you have to take stuff away you put it back or you don't put it back I think it's helpful I think it's also helpful to write these out and put the fractions underneath it so you can keep things separated and keep things straight that is my recommendation to you uh, why don't you try these what ends up being five problems here I think by the time we've gotten to this point this is something that you should be able to do try these out and then come back to the video and see how you did.